She came to my office and offered to advertise our company in their newspaper. While she was talking enthusiastically about her publication, I studied her appearance. She was a miniature burning brunette with huge eyes, in which, with a careless glance, one could dissolve without a trace. Her hairstyle was a huge mop of black curly hair. I could not resist and imagined how cool it would be to bury my face in this shock and inhale the spicy smell of her hair. She suddenly fell silent, noticing my intense scrutiny of her appearance. So, what is the circulation of your newspaper? I asked in order to somehow support her monologue. 10,000 copies. She smiled, revealing a row of magnificent teeth. We talked a little more about advertising, but for some reason the conversation itself began to jump to completely abstract topics, this happens when you meet a person who works with you, as it were. On the same frequency and it seems that you have known him for a thousand years. I suddenly suddenly felt a change in her look, just that it was the look of a man doing his routine work, but suddenly turned into the look of an interested woman, I think not one male will confuse this moment in relationships with the opposite sex. Just now there was some kind of invisible barrier and now it's gone. To check, I held her hand a little longer at the moment when she handed me a fountain pen to sign the contract, I decided to, succumb, to persuasion about advertising. I felt the warmth of her skin, she tore her gaze from the papers and looked at me in such a way that I had no doubts about the fallacy of my conclusions. As you know, the workplace is not very convenient for continuing such acquaintances, so I casually said that I need to leave now and if she is in the center, then I can give her a lift by car. It turned out that her next meeting was on Nevsky and we were on the way. With a beating heart, I got behind the wheel and drove 500 meters away from the office, muttering something about the problems, and parked the car on the Neva embankment. She looked at me with a little surprise, but I no longer paid attention to anything. Pulling me closer, I dug into her hot lips, which immediately became soft and pliable, and her sharp tongue began to work in my mouth, with the other hand I began to unbutton her coat and in a second my hand was already wandering under her blouse. She came to my office and offered to advertise our company in their newspaper. While she was talking enthusiastically about her publication, I studied her appearance. She was a miniature burning brunette with huge eyes, in which, with a careless glance, one could dissolve without a trace. Her hairstyle was a huge mop of black curly hair. I could not resist and imagined how cool it would be to bury my face in this shock and inhale the spicy smell of her hair. She suddenly fell silent, noticing my intense scrutiny of her appearance. So, what is the circulation of your newspaper? I asked in order to somehow support her monologue. 10,000 copies. She smiled, revealing a row of magnificent teeth. 